first, we start with your data, anywhere and everywhere it resides. You already know the value of ONTAP, empowering your data centers around the world, on-premises or in any of our 1P native offerings in Microsoft or Amazon or Google. So we are building that unified global metadata namespace. This will provide you with an easily synthesized, single, unified, global view of the data. You'll be able to put structure over this data. You'll be able to synthesize your data across all your data assets and have all of that metadata seamlessly brought together to create a complete view of your entire NetApp data assets. File or object, structure or unstructured, on tap or storage grid. So let me demonstrate what you can do when you bring that power to your fingertips. So most of you will recognize this as Blue XP, our hybrid multi-cloud control plane. We have pre-populated this with various on tap data sources. And we built the new data explorer capability directly within Blue XP so that you get to explore all your data using the simplicity and familiarity of Blue XP. Within the Data Explorer, you are able to see at a high level what working environments are being scanned. You get to see how many files, how many object streams, how much storage has been synthesized, and what's your global metadata namespace made of. You can go directly and start exploring and searching your data using natural language queries. For today's demo, let's put ourselves in the shoes of a data scientist in the healthcare industry. Here, you will see all the files related to the AI project that they are working on. Because we are using AI, we can actually go in and quickly find all the files that actually have content that is about or related to diabetes. Of course, you can look up by file names and strings, but the power of Explorer goes way beyond that. You can also set a variety of additional filters based on the metadata. In this case, we have set the filter to only include the files that have been accessed in the last three years. Let's double click on an individual file and see what are the specifics of this metadata we are talking about. You will see common file information or file attributes like location and size. You will also see user attributes and system attributes. You can also use extended attributes. You will see information we have synthesized based on our data classifiers, like analyzing, identifying any PII information within the file. You can drill directly into the permissions of the file so that if there is any PII information, you get to choose based on your policy posture to whether to include the file or not, right? This is incredibly important in determining which models and which inferencing workflows have access to what data. So you are taking your investments in security policy permissions all the way from bottom of the stack to the top and to the prompts. With the right permissions, you can see the preview of the file right in the Data Explorer. You will notice that there are some text fields in here that have PII data. And via a configurable policy, you can automatically anonymize multiple of these fields that are displayed. OK, so we have built a unified global namespace with a powerful natural language data explorer on top. What's the tie to AI? OK, let me show you a neat trick. I'll go ahead and select the files that we have found through our natural language query and filters. Let's add these files into an existing or new collection. The data collection in the enterprise data are the data that's used by the models for inferencing prompts. This is how you make enterprise data available for retrieval augmented generation or RAG pipelines. This new data collection can be static, as in 
given a set of files, make that a collection, or even better, dynamic, by using the query and filters to create a constantly updated collection of data. Given all the changes are tracked in our global metadata namespace through technologies like SnapDiff, we can instantly update the RAG enterprise data collection as things change. Data and AI operations are expensive, compute, power, and just the raw storage. So the ability to operate only on the differences is incredibly important. You want to do expensive data and AI operations only on the changes and not on all the files all the time. OK, now that we have created our dynamic data collection, let's put it to good use. We're going to deploy this data collection directly to a NetApp AI data node, or NetApp AI pod, or your choice of any inferencing system. So let's choose one of NetApp AI data engine nodes to deploy this data collection to. Once deployed, we take care of everything. Remember, we are removing complexity here. You can hop right in and begin using it for data experiments. And if you're an API person like me, don't worry. We have you covered. We provide you with a rich set of APIs so that you can point this collection to any data science tool of your choice to access on demand. So with this kind of powerful natural language-driven data discovery tools, with the right APIs, we are transforming data discovery of our largest customers, including some of you in the room. Your enterprise data is now AI-ready and is integrated into your AI data pipelines with ease.